it's Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing two of my subscription boxes that I've made videos of in the past. I'm going to be reviewing BoxyCharm and Ipsy. And I'm choosing to review both of these because they are a different price range and I have been getting a lot of questions as to which one I prefer more. Ipsy is $10 a month and BoxyCharm is $21 a month. The only difference is that BoxyCharm usually always gives you full size items while Ipsy gives you travel size or luxury size products. In the past I have liked Ipsy more than BoxyCharm and then sometimes I like BoxyCharm more than Ipsy so I wanted to start doing this. Instead of just reviewing and unboxing BoxyCharm or just doing that with Ipsy, I want to review both of them at the same time to show you which one I like more that month. Just so that it can help you all figure out which one you would like to subscribe to. Again, this one is $21 a month and this one is $10 a month. So let's just start off with BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, like I said, is $21 a month. They give you a little card here and in the back it says all the details on the products that you received and all of the prices. I will be totaling up the prices to this one just so you can see how much you're getting with just $21. Um, the Ipsy does not come with prices so that would be a little harder for me to calculate. But if I can, I'll put everything in the description box below. So let's start off with BoxyCharm. The little card says, Summertime Bravness. Greetings from Miami. This July, we're bringing the heat to you. So keep it cool. Grab your bathing suit and let's lounge by the pool because we got that summertime radness. So that's really cute. And then, like I said in the back, it gives you all the details. I'll start off with this here. This is the Vasanti Blush 7 Brush. And I used this today to apply my blush and it applied really, really well. It's super soft. I'm not sure if this is synthetic or not. It says, the Vasanti Professional Blush Brush is made with high quality nylon fibers. I really like getting brushes in these boxes, but this one in particular because it is a full size brush and it's a brush that I will be using. Sometimes they give me concealer brushes or stuff like that and I really don't use that. But blush brushes I use a lot and I really did like this one. This brush was $29, so that's a really good deal. That's already surpassing the value of the actual box. Next, I got the Greater Than Volumizing Mascara, and I tried this today. It wasn't really as great as I would have expected, but I love the packaging. So when you take it out of the box, this is what the actual tube looks like. So when I opened it, I really thought that it looked cool, but once I used it, it really did nothing for my lashes. It didn't volumize them or anything. This mascara was kind of a letdown because it looks so cool in the packaging, but once I took it out and used it, it really did nothing for my lashes. I don't understand why it's called greater than mascara. It says it's a volumizing mascara, and it didn't volumize my lashes at all. It did lengthen them just a little bit, but not anything that was really dramatic, but... I feel like I have better mascaras than this. I'll go ahead and show you the wand. As you can tell, it's very full, and that's why I expected it to do something really dramatic to my lashes, but it really didn't do anything at all. This mascara is 21 pounds, so it's roughly like, what, 30 something dollars? Something like that. So for the price and for the packaging, I thought it was gonna do like wonders for my lashes, but it really didn't do anything that was worth talking about. Next in my boxy charm, I have the what is this called? This is the Your Minerals Transparent Veal Setting Powder, and I used this today, and it was awesome. It's essentially just a loose translucent powder, but it mattified my face really nice. Sometimes with translucent powders, I can feel like I have tons of powder on, or I can even see the powder. Sometimes I can even smell it. I don't think this had a fragrance at all. No, this doesn't smell like anything, and. You can't see it on your face at all. It doesn't look powdery or anything like that. This says it is a soft, transparent setting powder with an ultra-light silk texture that settles into a smooth, matte surface while minimizing fine lines and pores. And this is $26, so I really like this one as well. And then lastly, in this box, I got the Gorge It'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray, and this is for your hair. It is a magical leave-in conditioning spray that will turn your hair into the sexiest hair ever. It says it repairs damaged hair, instantly adds shine, detangles like no other, protects from heat, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates amazing silkiness, enhances natural body, and helps with flat irons. And in the back it came with a get $20 off coupon code. 
I have that here for you guys if you want to try it out. There's the code. It is BC20. And I used this today. It has a, an amazing scent. I It kind of smells like pineapple and coconut, something like that. It smells super good. And I don't know if it volumized my hair at all. I really don't think so. I just sprayed it in really fast before I flat ironed my hair today. It smells amazing and it's so, so silky smooth. Like, it's so soft right now. I've only used it once, so I don't really know how much I like this, but so far, so good. This spray right here was $29.95. And then lastly, I know I said that was last, but this is actually last. This is the Ofra Eyebrow Universal Pencil, and it just looks like this. It's brown, so I don't know how I'm gonna like it. Maybe to fill in the inner part of it, it'll be nice, but no, I really don't use brown on my eyebrows, so that's what that looks like. This Ofra Cosmetics Universal Eyebrow Pencil was $13. Today's box was worth $131, so I think that's unbelievable that you only spent $21. Every single thing that you got in this box was full-sized. Everything was over $20. Well, no, I lie. This was $13, but... Everything apart from one was over $20, and the box, like I said, is $21, and everything that you got totaled up to $131. I think that's incredible, so I really liked this month's BoxyCharm. I think the only thing I won't be using will be these two things, the mascara and the eyebrow pencil. I might use the eyebrow pencil, but I don't really think I'm going to use the mascara at all. Everything else I was really happy with. Now on to Ipsy. This, like I said, is $10 a month. And I really like Ipsy because every month they give you a new makeup bag. This one is really cute. It's kind of like a chevron multicolored tribal print and it has a teal zipper. It also comes with a little card, but this card just gives you the theme of the month and it tells you like how to win one year subscription to the glam bags, but it doesn't give you all the details and all the information on the products that you're receiving, including the prices and how you, to use them and stuff like that, like BoxyCharm does. So I really like BoxyCharm because of that card, but I really like Ipsy because it gives you a makeup bag every month and I actually do use them. So let's just jump right into Ipsy. First off, I got the Ofra eyeshadow and highlighter in Bliss, and this is a little sample of it. I like this one because you can take it out of this little container and put it into like a Z palette or one of those magnetic palettes so you can get them at MAC and stuff like that. And it, as you can tell, it's a really decent sized highlighter. You can use this as a highlight for your face or a highlight for like your eyes or an eyeshadow, anything like that. I used it today on my eyes and I thought it looked really nice. This is what the highlighter looks like. I think it's so beautiful. It's kind of like a champagne gold. Next, I got a perfume, a little sample of a perfume. This is by Jarrell Parker, and I've already gotten, I think, two of these in my past Ipsy bags, and I really enjoy them. I use them a lot. This one is in the scent Classical, and it smells amazing. I think this is my favorite scent that I've gotten. It's really nice, really fresh. This one smells a little more florally and a little more young than the other ones that I got. So I'm super excited to get this. I really love this and I will be using this a lot. The next thing is probably one of my favorite things that I got in the entire bag and it is a lipstick. This is by the brand Tease Cosmetics. But what I love about it is the packaging. This is the packaging. I think it's so cool. It has like a multicolored skull on the bottom of it. And then it just says Tease right here. This is called the Read My Lips Lipstick, and it is such a beautiful color. I already tried it on, and I really love it. It is a really nice, corally pink. On my lips, it kind of looks a little orange, but as you can tell on this swatch, it looks pink, and it's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a flamingo. Like, it is a flamingo pink. I really love it, and it's so soft and so creamy. I've never tried this brand, but... I will definitely be checking them out now because I really do like it. This is in the shade Killing Me Softly. Next thing I got is another sample. This is the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator and it is an exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya, micro crystals, and aloe. Ooh, it has like little beads in it. Ooh, I feel like this is going to be an awesome exfoliator. 
Hmm. It doesn't really smell like anything at all. I can smell the aloe in there. Last but not least, probably one of my favorite things that I got because this is something that's so essential. And it is a pair of tweezers by Crown Brushes. This is what the tweezers look like, just black and silver. And I was actually looking for a really good pair of tweezers and now I don't have to buy one because I got them from here. So I'm super excited about this. I got five products here, a lipstick, a highlighter, an exfoliator, a perfume, and a tweezer. I think the only thing I will not be using, actually, I'm not even kidding. I think I'm going to use every single thing here. There's nothing that was a letdown or a disappointment or anything like that. Again, Ipsy is $10, and look at all the things I got. Yes, some of them are travel size, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like, the exfoliator, I don't think you need that much of it, so I think it's going to last you a while. And this, I don't even think this is a travel size. It's just not in nice packaging, but it is a really good sized product, as you can tell. So I'm not sure if this is a travel size or not. For sure, the perfume is. But again, like a roller balls last me a long time. So overall, I really do think that Ipsy won by a landslide. $10 and every single thing that I got, I will be using. I was so excited to see all of the things. And BoxyCharm, like I said, $21. You are getting full size items. But this month, I would only use about three of the things out of five. So I really do like the things that they gave me. But I feel like Ipsy just won for me. I think that I'm so happy with this month's Ipsy. For $10, you can't beat it. I did get a lot of things. And like I said, everything that I got, I really did enjoy or will enjoy. I will have all of the links to Ipsy and to BoxyCharm in my description box below if you want to check those out again. I will always have my social media site and my blog link down below for you to check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.